Hello, my name is Bradley Greer, founder and senior colorist of Kyoto Color. We're a digital intermediate boutique. Today, we're excited about the theatrical release of Criminal, Kevin Costner's latest movie, directed by Ariel Vrahman, cinematographer Dana Gonzalez, ASC. The really fascinating thing about the color grading on Criminal uh, was, was really how nuanced and specific uh, both Dana and Ariel were in their vision. Um, Dana is very much a cinematographer that's about not drawing attention to the lights and the atmosphere that he's creating. When you see this film, you'll see London in a way that has never been represented photographically. You know, cosmopolitan cities like that, full with all that older gray concrete, you know, architecture, is is often sort of in the, in the Gotham City vein, you know, and it's typically approached very cold, very sterile, very monochromatic. And that is the exact opposite of what Dan and Ariel wanted for this film Criminal, which really required Kyoto Color to step in, you know, in the final stages and really pull out as much color diversity that we could find inherently in the architecture of London, while also very precisely sculpting specific parts of the frames, specific parts of the building, and and really adding in different layers of yellow while looking for opportunities to grab onto like the red double-decker buses, blue and specific parts of the wardrobe, and make those pop in a very, very specific way. And the last thing you want to do in that situation when you have a cinematographer sitting next to you and a director sitting on the other side is find yourself in a situation where you're working on a workstation, on a computer system, that just can't handle that level of work and complexity where the processors get choked, you lose real-time playback. You know, I want to be in a situation where all I worry about is creativity, is where all I get to worry about is how I want to paint specific parts of the frame and where I can get totally carried away in that moment. And this is where media workstations really came into play for us, you know, as films, more and more feature films are shooting 4K uncompressed, more and more films are getting distributed in uncompressed 4K. So our demands have changed significantly. Uh, in needing the most robust workstations we can get our hands on that can not only play back uncompressed 4K files in real time without hiccuping, that can render super fast, but that can also handle a node tree and color correction that's full of multi layers of mats, potentially some VFX work, and not ever stop playing at 24 frames a second. So when we reached out to media workstations, they were incredibly helpful in hearing our needs working closely with us with their expertise and literally custom building a machine for color correcting 4k files. Criminal was the first project that we used the new media workstation on and we're thrilled to announce that it went without a hitch. There was no crashes, there was no unpredictability, there was no lack of real-time playback. I was able to strictly focus on the, on the creative part of the job, on the color correction with the clients and let all the technical just fade away into the background, which is exactly as it should be.